The Hoffman's hard work has finally paid off, and the Z plant is fully operational again. We're doing good. I'm happy. Finally, they can run dirt and get some gold. <laughs> Job. We know that we're way behind where we need to be. We got to start running richer pay dirt. Before we get too far and run too much dirt, we're going to go ahead and keep testing. Keep using this cleanup room as our secret weapon. With only one working wash plant, running the richest pay dirt is critical to their success. Well, the best we've ever done is an ounce 100. I think we got to have at least two ounces of Double. Yeah. I think it's the only way that we have any hope whatsoever. Jack and Jim have run a 150-yard test wash from the current dig site, North Fork. And the results are in. What's up? Thought I'd better call you. I, I don't know what's going on. We have a problem. I ran 150 yards. Yeah? You only got 2.5, so that's only 1.6 ounces per 100. That's not good. We can't keep running that dirt. Maybe we should move. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You know, typically in this situation, we just start a new cut and try to find better pay dirt. A new cut is the process of removing the organic top layer, exposing the soil underneath to the heat of the sun, allowing it to thaw, making it possible to then cut into the earth until bedrock is reached. From there, they can identify and harvest pay dirt where gold is settled. Opening a new cut is a labor-intensive task that generally happens in early spring when there's time for the pay dirt layer to thaw. It's just too late in the season and the weather's not gonna have the ground thaw, so we really don't have a choice but to just stick with it. Maybe we should give up, move on, move around. That number won't do it. If we make one false step, we're not gonna meet our goal, and you know what? It's already getting cold, and we're running out of time. Sorry, Andy, throwing away your hard work. We need pay dirt, we need thawed pay dirt, and we need it right away. <laughs>